Look at this, Sam. Ed Hillary was here. You don't see that every day. Hi, and welcome to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Kev. Today, Sam and I are in the Leatham Conservation Area in Marlborough. And uh, we're heading to a, uh, a biv that's described as a small doll's house with a 1600 millimetre door and requires some gymnastics to uh, get into the bunk. So, uh, could be cosy. She's pretty cold at the moment, uh, just, below, just below zero. So hopefully it'll warm up as the day progresses. So we've finally made into sunshine and uh, it's about an hour five to get to here. We had uh, a nice three kilometer walk on I guess a, a pretty nice four wheel drive track and then about 300 meters pretty much straight up vertical but uh, fantastic view down the valley of the Branch River and uh, she's gonna be nice now in the sun. about two and a half hours in and we've reached the high point of the first part of the day so it's 0.1149 on the topo map um, pretty pretty hard strenuous climb to get here um, reasonably reasonably steep uh, we've followed the fence line next to Leatham station uh, on the way up so um, pretty easy to find your way um, and quite a few wild end pines floating around as well it's a bit of a shame but it's, uh, it's just something that started to happen in the area So we're uh, heading up the valley, um, we're just about up to the pass which is at 1280 metres and uh, into Hidden Hut so we're just shy of five and a half hours so uh, just over halfway, I reckon it's about a ten and a half hour today but I'd say I'm pretty stuffed already. behind me we look around we can see the uh, valley we've come up doesn't look um, much on a topo but she was uh, pretty steep in real life Right, so it's good to be at Hidden Hut. Um, it's a good, took us a good six and a half hours to get here. So uh, I definitely allow yourself plenty of time if you want to make this trip. Um, but if you look around, there's plenty of nice camping um, and good spots around. It's a beautiful location. Quick hut tour. Good shed. So we've got five bunks, wood burner, we bench in the corner and a nice window, nice view. So here we are in Hidden Hut, got the hot log book, so old it still goes back uh, to the days of the New Zealand Forest Service, so uh, predating the Department of Conservation. The book was installed 10th of April 1986 and uh, really haven't seen too much action here yet. We've seen what four of 
about eight parties come through in 2022. So uh, I've not visited that often. Okay, so we're about eight hours into the trip. I'm not gonna lie, it has been a very, very taxing eight hours as well. Extremely exhausted. We're on the final push now. Uh, that's a solid 500 meters vertically to go. So a couple more hours, I think, and uh, better push on and get there before we run out of daylight. Are you finding the climb, Kev? Oh, I'm loving it. It's uh, possibly the easiest climb we've ever done. If uh, only it was further than, than 500 metres vertical, that would just be amazing. <laughs> What a wee beauty. Here we go. Nine hours, 45 minutes later, and we're here. Turkey Nest Biv. Absolutely glorious view down the Warrior Valley. Um, we got here a little bit quicker than we thought we were going to, but we are stuffed. It has been a very, very hard day. Turkey's Nest Biv. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just absolutely tiny, but it's just so cool. It's got a tiny wee fireplace in there. Two tidy bunks. Not a lot of room for anything else. That was your sleep, Sam, nice and cosy. Very cosy, probably the, the best little bib I've ever stayed in, I reckon. It's quite small, but um, very cosy with the fire. And it's actually, the bunks are pretty good too. It's, um, yeah, they're not quite as um, awkward as it was maybe made out, so very enjoyable. Right, just while we're leaving Turkey's Nest Biv, um, just a quick tip about how to approach the Biv. Um, you'll see behind me there's actually quite a steep uh, gorge essentially between where I am now and, and the Biv. You might be tempted to try and climb down there and climb up the other side. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. If you just carry on further um, up, the, up the gorge, there's a Waratah up there and there's a safe crossing point um, that you can climb down from the other side. So we're uh, bidding farewell to uh, Turkey's Nest Biv. But we're now going to head off to um, Boulder Forks Hut on the way out. It's going to be uh, quite a wee way to get there, so we probably won't do too much filming. And uh, we'll see when we get to the fence line where we're going to get off our, our track that we came in on. Okay, so we've been walking for probably five to five and a half hours on our way out. Uh, you can just see behind me that point there. We're going to head up to there. And there's a fence line up there that heads down to the Lethem River. So we're going to go check that out and if that fence line looks promising, we're going to fast track it down there and we'll see what we can find when we get down there. Coming up on the two Boulder Forks huts. Got the old one on the right and the new one on the left. We're going over we look. Starting with the new Boulder Forks hut. Just the wood shed. 
So it's got a concrete floor. There's the six bunks. Could be wood burner, a couple of benches in a nice sunny spot. Very old hut, old fireplace there, dirt floor, so nothing in it really, just a small bench in the corner. But what this one is well known for, is having a number of signatures all over the, carved into the wood, including a very special one, Edmund Hillary up here, next to the bit of paper. So that uh, brings the end to our trip. It's been an absolute fantastic weekend though, a bit of a mission. Nine hours 45 the first day, and uh, probably nine hours today. All right, on behalf of Kevin and myself, I'd just like to say thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see some more of these, please hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time we're out and about tramping.